Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I'm doing a double wing eyeliner and a bold red lip. Yeah, so I just figured this would be a nice, fun, quick look. And I hope that you guys enjoy it. So if you want to see how I came up with this look, then just go ahead and keep on watching. Alright, so to begin, I'm going to be going in using my Nivea Men Sensitive Post Shade Balm. That's a lot of words. And I'm just going to be applying this all over my face. It helps your foundation last longer. You, I'm pretty sure you've heard about this. Alright, so the trick is to get it all nice and tacky. We're there. Alright, so I've been so in love with this foundation, the L'Oreal True Match Lumi, but I need to give her a break. I need to give her some time off, and I think I'm gonna go ahead and use. No, let me get the foundation I want to use. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and give this foundation another shot. This is the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Cushion. Guys, I'm so in love with this one right now. This is the True Match Lumi. And it's not the cushion, you know, it's just like the one in the bottle. This one's amazing. I'm gonna give this another shot and see how we are. This is W3, and in this one I am W3. Okay, so. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead, directly go in with my beauty blender. A lot of you are probably like freaking out, but that's what I'm gonna do. Alright, so now that I've applied about maybe three layers because it's very light coverage, I like it, it's just very light coverage and I don't know, I feel like the look I was going for today was definitely something full coverage, but I'm just going to go ahead and work with it. I'm going to go in with two concealers today. First, I'm going to go in with the Maybelline Better Skin Concealer and this one's going to do a lot of the highlighting work and then I'm going to go in with the Ains. Instant, <laughs> instant age rewind eraser for dark circles and then just quickly blending everything out with my beauty blender all right and now i'm going to quickly set everything using the cody air spun translucent extra coverage powder Alright, so to warm up the face, I'm going to go in with Max Give Me Sun and I'm going in with the Luxie 522 Tapered Highlighter Brush. Alright, and then I'm going in with the Hoola Bronzer by Benefit. This one has been a favorite recently. Like it is just, it does good. I love it. And I forgot to mention the brush that it comes with. Yes. Mm -hmm. And I forgot to mention the brush that it comes with. Yes. Mm -hmm. And just like our eyeshadow, every time you apply a new application, you want to make sure to buff everything in and just blend it in so that it's not all harsh, like there's no harsh lines, because that can happen to your face as well, and it's it's not cute. The last thing I'm going to go in, oh, this smells so good. I'm going to go in with the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil in the shade Deep, Medium Deep, and I'm just going to add a little to my contour, because I just haven't deepened up that crease in a long time. I just haven't really put a, a deep color on my contour and I just kind of want to try it, so. I'm going hard on the contour today. All right, so next I'm gonna go ahead and apply this blush. I hope I don't regret it. This is the ColourPop 
super sharp cheek in the shade between the sheets. Um, I don't know, I feel like I didn't like this when I got it and let me just try it out again, so. pretty I'm sure this will work just as good I love this blush it's just like a, a nice nude shade nothing too crazy and for highlight today I'm gonna be applying Jaclyn Hills champagne pop I can't show it to you because it's crumbled and then I'm applying with the Morphe M510 this is a nice like a fluffy brush to blend your highlight I really really like this brush Next, to set everything, I'm going in with Max Fix Plus. It's just a very nice setting spray. It sets all the powders you put on your face. And how I just applied highlight, this is going to make it like shine and pop even more. So I love this stuff. All right, so now that we're done with the face, I'm going to go ahead and get off the camera, do my eyebrows, and I'll be right back because I'm pretty sure you guys are bored of the same eyebrows that I do in every single video. All right, I'm back and I've already done my eyebrows. I'm gonna go in and prime my eyelids using the MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. This is an awesome, I love it. This is an amazing eyelid primer. The brush that I'm buffing my primer on with is the Crown Brush and this is the C455. All the things that I use will be in the description below. All right, so I'm just setting the eyelid primer using any cream colored eyeshadow that you wanna use. Alright, so today I'm only going to be using one eyeshadow on my crease, maybe one on my lid, I'm not too sure. But right now I'm going to go in with soft brown, just a nice, like a pinky tone brown, and I'm going to be applying it into my crease. Alright, and then I'm going in with Nylon by MAC just for the inner corners, just to make them pop and it helps you look more awake when you put a very light color in your inner corner. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that and apply it with the Makeup Geek um, something something, I don't know, a little pencil brush. And then I'm also running the same soft brown eyeshadow onto the lower lash line. quickly tight line my eyes using Scandal Eyes Waterproof Cold Pencil from Rimmel and I'm just going to apply to the top and lower lash line. liquid liner this is the NYC it dries matte it is everything like it is so perfect I cannot use anything else like I used to use elf a long time ago and then that one just kind of made a mess and this one is my new favorite so I'm just gonna go ahead and create a double wing so here we go okay for the second wing I just like to start from the outer corner and then just kind of flick it out a little Nothing serious, it's not like super creative or anything, it's just an extra wing. So let's just go ahead and do that. So that is it, it kind of just gives you the illusion of having like nice big lashes. Yeah, and today my eyeliner, the top one, was wanting to become like the panda meme. I don't know if you guys have those days where it just doesn't work. Like, I swear when I don't try, I have like the perfect wing eyeliner. And when I try, this is what happens and I'm just going to go ahead and go with it. <laughs> So I'm going to quickly apply my mascara. This is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. I love it. And for the lower lashes, I like to apply my MAC Extended Play. It makes them look so big and it makes me look like I have eyelashes and I don't. Today I'm just going to be applying these eyelashes. These are the Wispies from Ardell. 
They're just really nice and natural and I just love the way they look. So let's apply these. All right, now for the lip color, I'm going in with Maybelline's Vivid Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade Rebel Red. All right, so this is the completed look. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, remember to give it a thumbs up. And if you're not yet, please subscribe if you'd like to for more videos like this. And I will talk to you guys in the next one. Bye.